Court will call uh, 20 CR 1358, People versus Letitia Stalk. Record should reflect the jury is not present in the courtroom. <coughs> I've been advised that the jury has reached uh, verdicts in this case before I bring. Um, I know that this is an emotional case. I get that. I understand that. Really, I do. Um, but this jury has worked hard. Um, so regardless of whether you agree with or don't agree with their verdict, um, you need to exercise um, appropriate decorum. Um, so let's not have any emo emotional outbursts or anything like that. Um, and I think we're good to go. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and bring the jury in. All rise for the jury, please. <laughs> Thank you. you. May all be seated. Court will recall 20 CR 1358, People versus Letitia Stock. Record should reflect the jury has returned to the courtroom. Um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I see that juror number five, that would be you, um, has all the instructions and things like that. That's usually a tip off to me that you might be the four person. Are you, in fact, the four person? And has the jury reached verdicts in this case? All right, if you would hand the instructions and the verdict forms to Mr. Sproul, please. Thank you. Um, with respect to count number one, charge of murder in the first degree after deliberation, we, the jury, find the defendant, Letitia Stauk, guilty of count number one, murder in the first degree after deliberation. With respect to count number two, charge of murder in the first degree, child under 12 by a person in a position of, tw of trust, we the jury find the defendant Letitia Stauk guilty of count number two, murder in the first degree, child under 12, position of trust. With respect to count number three, uh, charge of tampering with a deceased human body, we, the jury, find the defendant, Letitia Stauk, guilty of count number three, tampering with a deceased human body. With respect to count number four, <coughs> charge of tampering with physical evidence, we, the jury, find the defendant, Letitia Stauk, guilty of count number four, tampering with physical evidence. Um, I wanted to ask the jury, uh, or actually the four person, there is some extra writing on here with respect to uh, question number one. There's a cross through and some initials. And then on part B, there's also a cross through with initials. Was that signifying that you were not answering that and you intended to answer guilty as to that charge? Yes, sir. All right. And uh, is that what you intended with all of the other verdict forms? Yes, sir. All right. Um, with that, does either side wish to have the jury poll the prosecution? Yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> All right, what this means is that uh, this is a process that is sometimes requested by the attorneys following a verdict to make sure that everybody has agreed on all parts of it. So I'll go down the row, starting in the back. Juror number one, is this and are these your verdicts? Juror number two, is this and are these your verdicts? Juror number three, is this and are these your verdicts? Juror number four, is this and are these your verdicts? Juror number five, is this and are these your verdicts? Juror number six, is this and are these your verdicts? Juror number seven, is this and are these your verdicts? Juror yes, number eight, is this and are these your verdicts? Juror yes, number nine, is this and are these your verdicts? Juror number 10, is this and are these your verdicts? Juror number 11, is this and are these your verdicts? Juror number 12, is this and are these your verdicts? I want to thank all of you uh, for your service. Jurors don't get a lot of training. However, you all were selected because you were willing to be open-minded and impartial and were willing to make decisions based on the facts and the law. You, the jury, 
heard and saw the evidence. You paid attention all day, every day. Someone else may tell you they disagree with or uh, they disagree with your verdict or some aspect of your service. They may want to express their opinion on the matter. However, we didn't ask them for any of their opinions. We asked you for your judgment. We asked you for your verdict based on the law and based on the evidence. Someone else may tell you they think they're better and smarter and more intuitive than all of you were. Ignore them. As a judge, rarely does a day go by that I don't make somebody in the courtroom mad. The fact that some people may disagree with your verdict or the law only means that those who disagree with you were not carefully selected to be fair and impartial. They did not take an oath to follow the law and to judge all of the facts, and they see it differently from you because they didn't see it all from the perspective you did. And they did not discuss the facts with 11 others who were also fair and impartial and sworn to follow the law. You just no poll, no approval or disapproval, and no press analysis changes that fact. This is the verdict in the case. The press or someone else at some point may wish to talk to you. We live in a world of exceptional voyeurism in reality TV, and this is about as real as it gets. They may try to dissect the evidence, your thought process, and your decision. It's a free country. Anyone want to? You don't have to talk to anyone about your verdict. <laughs> if you do, thanks to the court. And for the last time, all rise for the jury, please. I also didn't know if uh, the family, the prosecution, uh, anybody um, wanted to have some time to process the verdict. So I also understand that everybody's been here for five weeks. So I get that part too. So I'm open to whatever you want to do uh, with respect to sentencing, um, but I probably am going to need at least a half an hour with the jury. I think that would be appropriate, Judge. Um, the people are obviously ready to go to immediate sentencing. I believe the is as well. And, okay. and I can tell you that the family's been uh, thinking about this day for over three years. They're ready to go to sentencing as well. Okay. Then give me about 30 minutes uh, and we will come back and proceed to sentencing at that point in time. All right.